Um, so we rolled simulation training out for acute behavioural disturbance in the general hospital between us at the UQ Trust and Oxstar where Helen is. Many of you may know that nurses get virtually no training on acute behavioural disturbance in acute hospitals, but it is very, very common, especially in A&E. Uh, one study, three and a half incidents out of every thousand attendances. Training, if there is any, usually involves sitting down in a lecture, getting told about stuff on a PowerPoint presentation, and that does not really translate well when you're bricking it in front of somebody who's about to whack you. So uh, we did a survey, identified the hot spots where incidents were occurring in the acute trust and based on the feedback we designed two high fidelity simulation sessions which were rolled out in the Oxstar simulation suite using an actor who is playing a role, uh, the same actor playing the role of an elderly man with delirium and dementia on an acute medical ward who was trying to leave at three in the morning and then a young man who was uh, intoxicated in ED with a head injury and uh, acutely psychotic and what should we say, flying off the handle. Um, and uh, so there were simulation sessions, anywhere between eight and 13 participants were there and it was intentionally multidisciplinary. Um, it was slightly artificial in that each scenario would have four participants. We wanted to emphasize the team-based approach. Uh, there were, in, when I say high fidelity, it means there was electronic drug prescribing, there were the drugs, there were needles, although we advised the patient people not to inject the actor with lorazepam <laughs> every single time. Uh, we managed, so the scenarios would take about 15 minutes each and would focus on verbal de-escalation techniques and rapid tranquilization. And then we would also incorporate in the debrief some teaching sessions on restriction of liberty legislation whether to use MCA, MHA, DOLS, and all of that jazz. So we rolled out eight courses over 2017, 2018, 82 participants, the majority of those were nurses, but we did, uh, and this is, we thought this was really important, we also had pharmacists, and crucially, we also had security staff as well. One disappointing thing, there weren't that many doctors participating. Um, now, a lot of the, the deep, a lot of the, um, uh, interaction between me as the facilitator and the participants. A lot of the nurses, to be honest, were volunteered by their bosses. Not many people wanted to come forward and do this. So they were uh, very nervous. So a lot of it was about reassurance, uh, explaining to them that they can make whatever uh, cock-ups they wanted to, say whatever weird, inappropriate things they wanted to, and it would not be reported, and they would not get in trouble. Now, we designed a bespoke evaluation tool uh, focusing on nine learning outcomes, mainly around knowledge and confidence and skills. Um, and on all nine, there were improvements, pre-training and post-training. T-test derived p-values showed p-values of less than 0 0.001. So good statistical significance. Um, so in conclusion, this clearly has some benefit in upskilling acute hospital staff and I do want to emphasize the point that this is for acute hospital staff even though I'm a psychiatrist I work in an acute trust we really emphasize that this was not a mental health simulation thing it was just to deal with patients who have really complicated problems who happen to be in an acute hospital um, and for staff who don't hitherto get any training on this really but confront this situation frequently so uh, Helen made the point earlier um, it's all well and good having impressive post-training scores. We still have no idea whether that will translate to actual improved patient care. Um, and mo all the participants have only done this once, so they might be really enthused and deal with this situation amazingly for the next week, but then in a few months' time, they might have forgotten it all. So that's the next step, really, to see how we can roll it out long-term. Excellent. Thank you very much.